Okay, here we go. Playing another game. I don't know why I open every video with, okay, here we go, but I guess I do. I'm playing a guy named Junior Capablanca, 1777, um, from the Dominican Republic. Not quite Capablanca, because he's from Cuba, but who knows, he might have moved. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I guess this is a Sicilian, but he hasn't decided what kind of Sicilian, because he's taking his time here over to Okay, Smith Mora Gambit. Maybe. Um, I like this gambit simply because it I, I don't consider it a very strong gambit. Um I I love gambits. So for someone to play a gambit like this, it's kind of I don't know. Oops. Trying to move my last video from my desktop because I save the videos on my desktop, then I convert them to MP4 and then I, I move them to my, my files. And I didn't wanna I didn't realize the folder was gonna pop up there. Okay, so Smith Moore, here we go. Um, I have my own kind of line against the Smith Moore. I don't know how good it is, but it seems to do fairly decent. Um, basically, I I play to trade off this knight, and then I castle, and then I I just play for trades, and I I can generally hold on to my my pawn that I won. But we'll see. I don't know how well I'll do against Capablanca, but even a junior cap. But I don't, I don't think Capablanca generally plays gambits. I mean, I'm sure I'm probably wrong, but I just go by what I see. <laughs> um, so he's got, he's got this bishop on b5, kind of annoying, and a little different from what I'm used to seeing. Usually it goes to c4. Um, and sometimes e e two, um, so I I think knight e knight g to e seven is okay because if he plays takes I definitely want to play pawn takes but if he does take then he he can play e five um, without any with less of a problem um, so he forced me to trade for the bishop which is fine for me um, I've played this this type of position many times. Um, Generally, it's viewed as a mistake, and it probably is. I, I mean, I really don't know. But uh, I seem to have fairly good fairly good results with it in Blitz, anyway. Um, I'm not sure what I would do in a slow game if someone played the Smith Moore. I'm sure Smith Moore is a little more sound in a slow game. But, uh, I don't know. I just do what I can with what I have, so... Right now, this is in my my tools for defending against the Smith Moore. So it's what I use. Um, so he has the two bishops. Um, my bishops, nice and cozy on b7. Um, I'm probably going to get d5 in at some point. Um, my knights defend each other, so d5, d5, queen takes d5 is okay. Um, and now I think I think my position's pretty well. Pretty well established here. Um, he might have an attack on my king in a little bit, and that's definitely going to be scary. Um, but I think if I plant my knight on g6, his attack will be. His attack is going to come along this diagonal. So a knight, a knight on g6 will be very good at blunting the diagonal. Uh, I mean, as you can see right here. Um, so because he's taking so much time. Um, okay, I'm going to move my rook so when he plays h5, my knight can go to f8. And now my position is very solid um, right now. Um, I've probably said this quite a few times, but when you're defending in an attack, if you can avoid moving pawns around your king, um, you'll generally do, you'll generally have a better defense um, from what I've, what I've found. Um, also, you want to get as many pieces around your king as possible. Right now, most of my pieces are on the queen side, so I'd like to get more more over to the king side. Unfortunately, my my knight is kind of cut off from getting to any good squares, so I'll have to figure out a different way to get my knight into the game. Um, okay, I think knight a5, and then maybe queen c4 to try to get the queens off. 
Um, because as you can see, queen c4 is forking the trade of queens and the g4 square. Um, and now I can play a move like d4, and bishop takes knight, and I'm winning material. Um, that move was a huge mistake, because I have checkmate in one. I mean, I was winning material by force, and he saw it and resigned. So, um, yeah, that's how I handled the Smith Mora. Um, that game was a little bit different than how it usually goes, but, um, yeah, hopefully somebody can use that sometime. Um, definitely look at it before you do it, because there's a lot of, a lot of tricks and traps in the Smith Mora, so. It, it's kind of like walking in a landmine. If you step in the wrong spot, you'll have to do a lot of work to get yourself out of being exploded. <laughs> so, alright.